Hi, today we're going to review the Change Guardian version 4.2 agent manager feature that was recently added in this version. It's a new feature. Previous to version 4.2, the only way to install your agent was to manually create an MSI and push it out internally or to locally install the agent from the agent package downloaded from the website. This feature um, allows you to manage the agents all in one location. So when you log into the web UI for your Change Guardian server, you're going to go to the integration icon. Here in the integration icon, you're going to select Agent Manager. The Agent Manager by default does not contain any of the assets that are currently available in your policy editor. If you've upgraded to version 4.2 from a previous version of 4.1 and have assets, they will not show up in here because this does not report to the database on the Change Guardian server. You must manually add or import all of the assets to be used within the Agent Manager. You can browse your Active Directory environment and add them that way as well. In the Agent Manager, you have any tasks that are in progress, your completed tasks, which includes only successful tasks, your failed tasks. The failed task shows any task that has failed to complete when it was executed. The failed tasks are the only tasks that will contain logs. As you can see here to the right, you can view any logs from any installation or deployment, or you can also rerun a task. In the main asset screen, you can look at all the assets that you have added. By default, you will have none. But here, this allows you to manually search by finding an asset, and it filters on the fly. So if you wanted to deploy to an added asset, you would check a box and then select either to manage the asset by deleting it or to manage the installation by uninstalling an agent, installing or upgrading an agent. It has information here on the end. You can modify the settings or you can delete the asset from the list. If you delete the asset from all assets, it is no longer available. You also have approved assets here, assets that have not yet communicated, assets that are not in any group, and user-defined assets. Now, when you want to add an asset, you can go to the Manage Asset area and click Add. This allows you to add from Active Directory here, where it will browse, from a host list to which you can browse to from the local desktop, and it lists here that the host list file must contain one of the following columns, host name or address. The columns must be tab delimited and you can separate multiple IP addresses with a comma. However, if you are manually adding a host, not from Active Directory or from a list, you're going to select the host option. You can type in the name here, or if you only have the IP address, that is typed here, not in the host name field. You'll select the operating system, whether it's Windows, Unix, or if you aren't sure, there. However, Windows, um, more than likely will be your selection, a version if required, and then you click the Add Asset button. If you would like to browse from Active Directory, you simply come here, type in the Active Directory information, and then authenticate.
If your initial entry does not work for your domain information, try to use the short name or the fully qualified name. Sometimes, depending on the Active Directory environment, may make the difference in the credentials being accepted. In this case, my credentials were not accepted, so I'm going to try the fully qualified name. And that was successful. Once here, you can expand your list of Active Directory information and look inside and select the servers that you would like to add. Click Add Assets. And then your server should show up here under All Assets. If you're going to install the agent manually or you need to download the policy editor to install, you'll simply come here to the All Assets and then come to Manage Installation and then select the Download option. Here it gives you the choice of the package to download, you can download the agent, which is 420-407, or you can download the policy editor, which is the same version. Depending on the selection you make, the bottom half of the screen will reflect the changes or options you have, and then you simply click Start Download. Your download will begin per your settings on your browser. If you're having problems seeing the download option or with the view, you might try using Firefox or Google Chrome if you're using any other alternative browser. Once your file is downloaded, you simply go to the location and copy the file to the target server to have the policy editor or agent installed, and then provide the requested information during the installation. Mm -hmm.